market is not climbing on bad news. I know. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Sometimes, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm like totally perplexed in some of this news that comes out because what unemployment's up, um, housing starts are down, you know, all these things that, that say that the economy is not doing that great. Is, however, the stock market is up. How does that work again? Sometimes it makes me kind of wonder. Well, meanwhile, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they, it is because they they have fell into the president's trap on everything from foreign policy to the um, to the budget. Uh, you know, like uh, I, you know, oh, what did Flea Obama say? Bill O'Reilly, Democrats don't elect Republicans to office. They said if it's a red area, you're not going. Okay. The, oh, they're going to immediately, all the, the, the Republicans are going to vote Republicans out and put Democrats in their spot because they know that shutting the government down is evil, even though the Republicans won't be shutting anything down. Mm. I know. And Republicans to vote for Democrats in the next election if the government shuts down. I know. That, that's what I talked about. He said, mm -hmm. uh, you will not see a single Republican vote for a single Democrat in a red state, but somehow Bill O'Reilly and Carl, well, and Carl Rowe and Brett Hume now, well, this is detrimental to the Republican Party. No, uh, I heard one of the people say, he said that the, the trick is, he said, Do you know when Republicans win presidencies? Yeah. When they show backbone. When they, they, mm -hmm. said, they said, well, they went along with what the party wanted because it was a middle-of-the-road candidate, John McCain. He lost. They went along with, um, with, with Mitt Romney, who was a middle-of-the-road candidate. He lost. They had an incumbent president of the United States and George Bush Sr., who went to the middle after, going, uh, after serving under Reagan, and then, uh, and then it was one year, one term as a conservative. His economy had been going straight up for 14 months, and he lost because he decided to abandon the party. He decided to abandon the people that elected him and go with the party leaders. You can go back years, and it's the same thing. When they go to the middle, they lose the presidential election, and they can't take the Senate. They do not. The conserv Republicans have been conservative since the days of Abraham Lincoln, folks. And Quebec separatists play the core voters with headscarf and turban ban. Yeah, well, because they want the, um, they want the, they, they, they said this is not the uh, 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 Republic of Saudi Arabia. It is, it is Quebec. And they do not give a rat's ass about what the, I mean, remember this is the people that basically uh, that joined the French Foreign Legion. They're, mm -hmm. they're Frenchmen. They are not English speaking for the most part. They do not like Muslims in that providence. And Obama administration not waging war on coal, the EPF, EPA chief says. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to shut down all the coal plants. If that even, uh, okay, Manson, who should have never been elected in West Virginia, but the fact is he went to the right against Obama. He actually became, a, okay, what is, a, what is a moderate Democrat? He's a Republican. He's a liberal Republican. -ness. And he basically said the President of the United States intends to put uh, two million people in the coal industry out of work so that his green agenda can uh, take force. And this morning, uh, you know, they're, they're putting out myths about, about the wind towers. They do not cause the deaths of birds. They do not make loud noise. Uh, that they basically save money. Well, since we've went to the wind con con you know, conventions, we can tell you they make lots of noise. The Audubon Society and Sierra Club, all of them do not want those things in flight paths of birds. And it costs you at least 25 cents a kilowatt more for uh, that power than it does any other power. So therefore, they're, they're worth the toys. And U.S. braces were shut down a week before the budget deadline. Well, yeah, they're, you know, that's, they're, they're, they're basically, the Democrats, okay, here's how it works is. They said there will be no budget, uh, there will be no shutdown because Harry Reid is never going to allow a vote on the Republican thing. There's not going to be any filibuster because Mitch McConnell has said he will not go along with it. He'll vote for closure because he said we need to get this over and move on. Which means, see, the Republican leadership is given up. They, they never, they have no backbone, which is why they're all being thrown. They said um, McCain is going to lose his seat. Uh, McConnell is going to lose his seat. 
Um, almost all of them that are supporting the president are going to lose their seats. And they, they think, well, the people are going to cheer us because, oh, oh, the, the Democrats are going to vote for McConnell and McCain and all the other people. That ain't mm -hmm. going to happen. And Obamacare to cost more for families that they can afford. Yep. It was only, there was supposed to be a $2,500 a year savings. It's now uh, a $10,000 turn the opposite direction. Of uh, seventy-five hundred dollars a year more per family, and they said, "Well, Republicans are responsible because they're they're putting all of this nonsense out and they're scaring people off." Well, um, oh, you see, Flee Obama is very a young, a, a very young one, and he says, "I wasn't paying anything for insurance before. Now I'm going to have to pay two thousand dollars a year for something I wasn't paying before. I don't think I'm going to join the exchange because it's only a one thousand dollar fine." Uh, but there's no fine for the first year whatsoever, so why should I join anything? Mm -hmm. That's the way it works. And raising the debt limit does not raise the debt according to the Democrats. Oh yeah, everybody from the pre everyone from the president on down says that that's just a myth that the Republicans have put out to scare uninformed people. And like a Bill, uh, what's his name, um, last night, um, you know, uh, and I'm self I should have, last night, uh, Jay Leno, uh, see, he, he said, if my wife goes to the uh, goes to the store, charges something on my credit card, and can't pay for it, that's called raising my debt limit. <laughs> but, you know, but according to the president, if my wife goes to the store, charges something that I can't pay for, that's not that's not on my bill whatsoever, according to him. And U.S. Parks Department making pro-Muslim religion videos. Well, but they, but they were actually they didn't fund it. It was done by a, it was done by uh, interns working for them, uh, and paid for by other sources. Well, first of all, the intern was being paid by the government to do it. It was being done in government property. Uh, what does he? What did he say? Well, you can't do. We have a thing: a separation of church and state. You're not supposed to use federal property and federal resources to promote religion. They said, well, it was a reach out to Republic. It was a reach out to the Muslims in this country to show that the Parks Park, the Parks Department, and the Department, Department of Forestry so want more Muslims to come into our parks. No, it was a basically what? an anti-Christian thing. Yeah, what in the world are they? I know. Well, what? They got why are they even, this is U.S. Parks, why should they even be concerned about religion? Uh, for the same reason that NASA is now nothing but a Muslim outreach program. It's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Republican lawmakers renewed Benghazi criticisms at, at hearing. Oh well, yeah, the parents, they said that Obama thought this was all going to go away. The problem is he's got the families of the four people that were killed and he's got the fact that they have been hiding everybody. According to the thing, they're now changing the names of people that work for the government in order that they can't be found by investigators. Oh, what? here's a good one. Who works for the House of Representatives? It's called the United States Marshal Service. They don't give a rat's ass about what the FBI does. And IRS and activist lawyers to clash in court over tax preparer rules. Yeah, um, basically, uh, they're, they're okay, the same thing. The federal government has decided to go after anybody that doesn't support Obamacare and, and make rules so that they don't, they'll no longer exist. The same thing as the federal government has decided to shut down, as a few minutes ago, they're making new rules that will basically shut down all of the credit unions in the country and force you into Obama-ran banks. And Pope criticizes church emphasis on abortion and gays. No, I heard a guy last night said that that is not what was said. They did an interview of the Pope, and the Pope said simply that we're spending too much time talking about things that are already written. He said, we, it's already, they said, whatever, the encyclical, the things are already there. You basically enforce what is there and you basically move on. He never said that he supported abortion. He never supported, he never said he sort of gay rights. He just said, it's already there. We don't have to talk about it anymore. We just follow the rules and then we just move forward in our, in our so. And independent Scotland could face a $5.9 billion pound cut, the report. Yeah, which is why Sean Connery is over in this country talking up Scotland independent. He's the um, honorary, right. honorary Prime Minister of Scotland. And actually, I think he hopes to be the first elected Prime Minister of Scotland. They don't, what do they have as a leader right now? Huh? What, what? do they have as a leader? Uh, Sean Connery. Oh, okay. He is the honorary prime minister of Scotland. Basically, they're going to bump 
They say, well, we're going to shut off all of these things to Scotland. Well, Scotland has, you know, here's a good one. Where do you think the hydropower comes from? Oh, really? Scotland. Where do you think the oil and everything comes through? Scotland. Where do you think most of what they eat comes from? And, and, and in Great Britain, it comes from Scotland. So they're really terrible. Where's the coal? From mostly from Scotland. Mm -hmm. They're not worried about anything. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. When you uh, delay what should have been done yesterday, it almost always ends up in a disaster.